Hello, welcome to Julison channel. My name is Yulia and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you our top 10 winter fragrances 2021-2022. We're going to show you five fragrances each, and my number five is uh, Jubilation 25 for Women by Amouage. This fragrance uh, feels uh, like a very classical French uh, fragrance, but uh, with the oriental touch. Uh, I can feel Ylang Ylang, incense, uh, mirror, a lot and rose. I really like this perfume. I think it's very well made and I think uh, it's a 30 plus perfume. Very great uh, longevity and uh, projection. Yes, I agree. It's very classy, very elegant. You can go on this uh, to theater. It will be perfect. At my number five is uh, Le Mat by Italian niche perfume house Mendito Rosa. It's an amazing composition of rose with a lot of spices, immortal, patchouli, nutmeg. Absolutely stunning. I love this perfume a lot. It's amazing. Very, very good blending. Exceptional. I agree, very good choice. It's a very, very nice uh, uh, fragrance. I also feel a lot of spices here and the Immortel is very prominent. And yes, I also really love it. On my skin it lasts about 24 hours. The last 12 hours uh, is uh, Immortel with, uh, with some kind of uh, patchouli. But the rose here is absolutely beautiful. My number 4 is uh, Rose Omiyad. This perfume is uh, it's very nice and it's very uplifting. Uh, I can feel uh, raspberry and rose a lot. There is also um, uh, oud notes. Sugar. Brown sugar is here. It's a very sweet, actually, it's a very sweet perfume. The rose is uh, really incredible here. It's uh, really good for um, for uh, some uh, occasions, for parties. And uh, to my taste, it's a very winter fra fragrance. Uh, but you can also wear it in uh, other seasons too. I'm wearing it actually in any season, but uh, I love it in the winter the most. Uh, the projection is really good, uh, it lasts uh, more than 12 hours on my skin and um, it, the sillage is uh, enormous, so yeah, I really love it. I think very it's beautiful a composition, I love it on a woman and there are lovely gold flakes in here, very beautiful. On my number four is uh, perfume Ivory Root by Sejov. This perfume is uh, from the Join the Club collection. It's a tra Traveler's Club. This perfume is incredible. There are a lot of spices. S sandalwood. Very natural smelling. Some kind of vanilla, patchouli and basil. Very smooth, comforting, great composition for winter. 
I love it very much and it's very com compliment getting actually I wear it wear, wear this all year round but my favorite season is winter for, for this for this beautiful perfume cool. good choice my number three is uh, Dom Rosa by Liquidus Imaginaris So, this is a very, very um, a nice uh, fragrance that will remind you of New Year's, of uh, uh, birthdays, of parties, because uh, what you'll feel here is champagne. So, for me, it's actually the best uh, champagne fragrance, the best boozy fragrance, to say. Uh, I feel here... Um, um, Pear, uh, oud. Oud is making this uh, fragrance um, also a little mysterious. Um, is there any oud? Maybe, I don't know. I think there is oud, yes. There is rose, definitely. There are, wood, there are woody notes. Woody notes, yes. Maybe there is no oud, but woody notes, yes. So it's uh, making this perfume. Um, kind of uh, deep as well so it's not only just a sparkling champagne and nothing behind it it's kind of uh, mysterious in a way it's, um, I'm really loving this perfume it's very sensual what a beautiful composition I used to wear it uh, for special occasions for New Year's for birthdays and so on but uh, now I'm just like wearing it uh, anytime I want to uh, feel special and yeah it's working very good choice I, I love it also my, my number three is Oud Extra de Parfum by Maison Francis Kujan it's very mysterious deep composition very elegant sensual extremely rich the notes are definitely the wood saffron elemi Indonesian patchouli there is laotian wood vanilla and bread and atlas cedar this is absolutely stunning perfume very, very, extremely well, well blended. Francis Kujan is a great nose, he's a master perfumer. And it's definitely one of his best compositions. We also have a separate review on this perfume. If you want to watch it, then please uh, go ahead. Yeah. My number two is Mon Nomme Rouge by Match de Bacali. The perfumer behind uh, this fragrance is Cecil Zerocan. I think I'm a fan of Cecil Zerocan because uh, all the perfumes I've smelled that are made by her are absolutely stunning. This one is about the rose spices. It's really nice. Uh, the spices are ginger, Cinnamon, cardamom, cardamom, a pink pepper. There, there is incense. A lot of incense. Definitely. Elami. So it is a very nice spicy rose. Actually, incense very mysterious rose. Very, very dark. Oriental. Very nice. It's uh, it's just gorgeous. Let me smell him. I know you love it as well. It's one of my absolutely favorite roses. I love it, and I I wear it. I actually I wear it all, all year round, but winter is also my favorite season for this beautiful composition. Very long lasting and, and the sillage and projection are beast mode, enormous.
My num number two is a beautiful composition by Bortnikov called Oud Monarch. This is Extra de Parfum and it really feels very deep, rich. Amazing smelling. It's not nothing about fecal, those uh, PC woods, nothing about that. It's very tasty. It's a gourmand wood. It, it has a chocolate notes, cacao. I'll, I'll read you note breakdown, official note breakdown. Top notes are magnolia, frangipani, in harsh notes there is rose de mai, Himalayan rose, cinnamon, tobacco, base notes oud mirok, oud kochang, bifil oud, cacao, civet, castorium, labdanum and vanilla. Uh, mostly I get from this is definitely the oud, cacao, vanilla, some spices, maybe cinnamon, in the top notes there are hint of uh, floral notes. It's one of the most beautiful, amazing wood compositions that I have ever smelled. I totally agree with you. This is a very pleasing woody perfume. And it has a natural woods in this. The dry down is absolutely majestic. The wood in here is gorgeous. I love this perfume as well, so really good choice. It's re it's very wearable. You can wear it everywhere. To work, casual, in a suit, no, no matter. You can wear it to bed for your... For your own pleasure. Good mood, yeah. And my number one, it's a Portoro by I Profumi del Marmo. This perfume is a fruity, flowery, musky bomb. It absolutely fills the whole space. The projection is enormous. I mean, the projection is really good and the sillage is enormous. It stays on your skin like forever uh, and uh, on your clothes. Good luck with washing it out. <laughs> Not sure if you'll be able to, maybe you will. At least a couple of washings. <laughs> this is definitely a very noticeable, sexy perfume. And uh, actually it's in a way a unique perfume, uh, because it's a limited edition. Uh, my uh, perfume is number 192 out of a thousand. So the design here is also very unique. This is um, very heavy cap from the natural marble. It's got some uh, gold in here as well. This, uh, this 20k is, this is gold. A golden plate, tw 20 carats. And I, I think so, here is also some kind of uh, golden... I think so, yeah. Golden... Bits, yeah. Strips, I don't know what's in English. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but here is the main beat and... Very uh, heavy, Very cap. heavy. It's unique, of course, because uh, it's impossible to have the heavy The heaviest cap that I've seen in perfume. Definitely. So the design here is well, Stunning. very well very, thought very through. Very beautiful. It's beautiful, it's nice, and this is definitely an attention getter. You'll be noticeable, you'll get loads of compliments. But uh, be careful, this is a beast. <laughs> It will be great with uh, two sprays. Uh, I think for some people one is enough as well, you know. Yeah. Just try with one spray, see how it goes. Uh, I wouldn't suggest more than two, but... Wear, wear this one to parties, to clubs and you'll be noticed. You will be noticed anyways, wherever you go. <laughs> yeah, 
Very sexy and very unisex perfume. I love it also as much as Julia. Ta-da! My number one. Hey! My number one is Oud Zen by Arige Le Dure. It's an uh, artisanal perfume brand. Stunning presentation. As always from this brand. Very luxurious. The, the cap is very Arabic. And the bottle looks very French like a cognac bottle. It's an it's an oud and saffron bomb. Smoky. Very smoky. It's a smoky oud. Imagine like if you if you if you take a huge amount of oud chips and uh, throw them into a burning volcano. Add add there's, add, add there's some sweet sweetness. It's uh, very smoky. A very powerful sillage and longevity. Uh, the notes are <coughs> different kinds of woods. Uh, there, there is definitely an Indian wood, Indian saffron, uh, tolo balsam, myrrh, uh, civet castorium. Very beautiful composition. I can't, can't get enough of it. Very wintry. To my taste, it's a very dark, woody, smoky perfume. It's really nice. It's I, very I, deep. I don't get any barnyard qualities from it. No, not no. at all. No. It's, it's uh, very deep, very dark wood. And, and the color of this juice is very, very dark. So is the smell. Your, your hand will will be in uh, this color also when you spray it. Don't spray it on white clothes. You will stain them. 100%. And also this one. Don't spray it on white, white, white clothes. Wood monar. It's, it's also very, very dark. Very deep, very rich composition. I think it's one of the best from my original dry. It's... Uh, Meditative. It's like uh, you wear it to to yourself. It's not a crowd pleaser at all. Longevity is more than twenty four hours, and sillage and uh, projection are about fifteen hours. Well, amazing choice. Um... Let us know in the comments down below if you also have uh, some of these perfumes. Maybe you would want to hear a separate review on uh, some of these perfumes. We can do that. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe and thumbs up. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you, bye.